Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 49 46, 50 45, and 50 45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Anderson the Spider Silva! Yes, take it in, fans. Overcome with emotion. What a road back it has been for Anderson Silva and Nick Diaz. Sharing the respect here. All right, I'm here with Nick Diaz and Anderson Silva. First of all, Anderson, congratulations. This is obviously a very, very emotional moment for you. What was going through your mind when he announced the decision that led you to just drop to the ground like that? So, I need to say one. Thank you, God. Thank you for giving me one more chance for staying here. Thank you, my family, my kids, and my friends, my real friends. Thank you. You were, you were incredibly emotional, Anderson. How, how, how important was this victory to you? Sorry, I, I, I go talk to Portuguese because my English is bad, okay? Sorry. Esse momento é muito importante para mim, para toda a minha família e para todos os brasileiros. Queria agradecer a todos vocês que vieram aqui, todos os brasileiros. E esse momento para mim é é muito importante por conta de tudo que eu sofri durante esse um ano. Eu achei que não ia voltar a lutar no começo. Queria agradecer ao meu médico, o Dr. Márcio Tanuri ao médico que me operou aqui. Queria agradecer ao Lorenzo e ao Dena por tudo que eles fizeram por mim durante a minha recuperação. E é isso. Thank you, God. This is a very important moment for me, a very important moment for my whole family, for all the Brazilians. I have to thank everybody that came out here. I went through a lot of suffering the past year, everything that I went through. In the beginning, I thought that I wouldn't be able to come back. I have to thank my doctor in Brazil, Dr. Marcio Tenuri, the doctor that performed my surgery, Lorenzo and Dana, and thank you, God. Was this fight psychologically one of the more difficult fights of your career, coming off the first two losses ever in the octagon? Psychologically, this was the most difficult fight of your career, coming off the two losses. Yeah, absolutely. Nick is the best. I, I'm, when I, I stay here for a long time, it's the first time in my life when I fight for the guy strong, the mentally strong, punch is strong, the kicks is strong. Thank you, Nick. Thank you for, for the opportunity. What was he saying to you at the beginning of the first round when he was taunting you? He was obviously trying to get you to lead. What was he saying to you? O que ele estava falando para você no início do primeiro round? Ele estava tentando fazer você engajar, né? O que ele dizia? Ah, this is the great show for the people. Nick is the great show. I'm the great show. This is for the people in here. This is no bad for. This is no bad man. This is Nick Diaz. This is the show. This is the UFC. Anderson, you've gotten through this victory. You're back. What's next? Oh, I go back to my family now. And I think so. My kid, Khalil, say, Dad, no more. Please stop. Stop, Dad. And I go back to my home, take, take my kids, and I don't know. And maybe my back, I don't know. Well, congratulations on your victory. It's been an honor watching you fight all these years. People, listen, listen. This is a sport. This is the great sport in the world. I need to say thank you for all the people coming to tonight. Thank you. Thank you. God bless all the people here. Thank you. Anderson Silva, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Nick Diaz. Nick, you fought a tough fight. You fought a very difficult fight, first time at middleweight here in the UFC. What, if anything, surprised you about tonight? 
Uh, well, after a while, you know, after a while, I was watching for that leg. Um, you know, I was figuring, okay, he was not kicking with it, but then he started throwing it, and he started throwing it pretty good. Um, but he waited for a long time because I figured, you know, I was gonna watch him if he could throw it or not. But you know, he started throwing it after a while. So, but you know, the thing is, um, I felt like I was ahead most of the time. I was asking last round, like, am I am I winning? Am I losing this fight? Is it close? Um, I think he he, lit, that, he threw a little. The kick really grazed me, but I was already a little scraped in my eye. So I don't know how he wins on damage or what. I'm like, if you lay down in front of me, I'm gonna come in and get you. You know what I mean? You can't. You gonna give me a free shot? I'm gonna take it. So, did you feel at the end of the fight that you had won? Uh, I felt like I won every round. Every round, I come forward, I push. The, I lost a fight to Sean Shirk way back in the day. No, I love Anderson Silva, great guy. I'm just saying, I fought. Uh, I fought Sean Shirk a long time ago. Atlanta more shots, moved around. They gave it to him because he pushed forward. So this 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 scoring winning game goes back and forth. But I don't think these you know these judges they don't like my attitude out here sometimes. But you know I got to push my guy to throw so I can I, I can get my. Get my fight going. You're just gonna walk around. We're not really fighting out here. I could stand here all day too. I guess maybe that'd be better for you. You know, but then I wouldn't be here today. Now, in the first round, you were taunting him. You were trying to get him to lead. What were you saying to him? Uh, I said, let's go. I said, you know, come get you some. I was like, throw it, you know? I said, like, throw me some. I said, you can do better than that. I said, you got better than that little, little kick. He's in a little push stomp kick like he's trying to bust my knee. I'm like, you know, I thought that kick was illegal a couple, like years back when I was fighting the IMC. Nowadays, people are trying to, you know, push through someone's knee like that, uh, little stomp kick. But, well, you know, I didn't think it was very effective. It wasn't, do, it wasn't, get, it wasn't doing anything. I don't know if they were counting, added up the strikes. I'd like to know, you know, I, it's hard. I gotta watch the fight, I can't see. It's hard to see from inside here. But I'm ready to go. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. Uh, you know, hey, I'm gonna I'm talk my talk. I'm gonna walk my walk, though, you feel me? And, you know what I'm saying? I think we did, we put on a great show. Thanks for Anderson Silva, Dan White for bringing me back out here. And uh, What's next for you, Nick? I just wanna thank my coach, Cesar Gracie, and the Balangy Group, my agent, Lloyd Pearson, and my, my guy, Joe Schilling, for helping me get my, uh, get my stuff together. And uh, I'm, I'm sorry, you know, I, couldn't, I didn't have my, I think I could, I could have put my punches together this time around. I didn't have my boxing trainer with me. We had a little uh, miscommunication in this last, last minute, but you know, next time. Nick, what's next for you? Is this it? Are you come back again? You took a long time off in between fights. Will you be more active now, or are you gonna seek another high-profile fight like this? I don't know, we'll figure it out, you know? I'm always asking myself a few days before these fights, like, what the hell am I doing? But, uh, you know, I don't need much to get by. I mean, you know, I've been doing this for a long time, but, uh, you know, I love the people, I love the training, I love, you know, I love how the sport's evolved, you know, what it is today. And, uh, you know, I love my fans, I'm grateful for everything. Thank you very much, Nick, for an always entertaining fight. Nick Diaz, ladies and gentlemen.